Hey guys, Wang Isel here. Today I'm playing EU4 and I'm playing as Austria. Uh, this was a suggestion from one of my subscribers and I think it's time we went back to EU4. We've, we've been playing quite a bit of Victoria 2. Um, but, but I guess I will be returning to Victoria 2. I might do one concurrently with this, this EU4 campaign because EU4 campaigns tend to be a lot longer. Um, I can imagine this easily stretching over like 30-40 episodes and I'm actually trying to limit the uh, Yeah, sure form alliance with Salzburg. I'm sure you won't ally me. Let's get that uh, In the meantime, let's get these other things uh, like I was saying um, I'm actually hungry hungry hates me Ew. Uh, That's bad That means one of the events may not trigger but it's in 100 years anyway rival Venice Okay, uh, like what I was saying, I'm actually trying to limit the length of my episodes uh, in, or, in order to make it a little... How do I say it? A little more, e a little more easier to watch. I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the level 2 one because I can afford it. Yep. And I don't need to pay my armies right now, so let's not do that. Uh, yep. Mm, I don't want any ally alliances from you. Yep, and got that. So, uh, from now on, you can expect every episode to be around like 30, 40 minutes. Uh, maybe even less. Improve relations. Yeah, I want that. Relations with the Elector of Bohemia. Hmm, Bohemia likes me. Um, I'll think I'll probably ally Bohemia if I can manage that. Um, but before we do that, I'll get my, uh, I'll improve relations first. Yeah. Elsace and who's this? Hmm. Nah, I, I don't care about Elsace. Okay, uh, yep, got an insurance embargo here. Yeah, so um, the ep episodes, you can look forward to it being easier to view. Um, I'll still name all of them. But hopefully moving forward, um, I'll be able to improve. Hmm, yeah, I'll accept that. I'll be able to improve on... Uh, I have to accept that. I'm at 3 over 5. Okay, I'm not going to accept any more alliances. Unless it's from Bohemia. No, go away. I need to fabricate a claim. Brassica. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go for Brassica. Okay, Lithuania wants to ally me, and this is this is actually pretty. This is not bad. Uh, well, mainly because I can accept this alliance offer. Yeah, sure. They are cat. Catholic Kingdom, so I'll just royal marry them. And there's a chance I might inherit the throne if I manage to get a Lithuanian like clan member or whatever that is called. Yeah, sure. In the meantime, I gotta do the same to Bohemia, so I'm actually gonna royal marriage them as well. Yeah, alliance. And just wait to marry him. Yep, and ah, uh, he is on his own, but he's a very good, he's a very good character. Bohemia has no legal heir. If he has no legal heir, who on earth am I marrying? Interregnum. That means there's no one there. Okay, I got my legitimacy. I got everything I need. Um, improve relations with Baden. No, not interested. Create a proper fleet. Claim our rival's province. Yeah, I'll claim it. French Comte, right? Albania. That's interesting. Isn't aren't they at war with the Ottomans? Yeah. I bet this is not gonna get it. And I think I just let the game run. 
Okay, so um, my aim for the early game, at least until the 1500s, is mainly to expand into Venice, to take all these Venetian lands and maybe move in into Italy. Um, I'm going to leave the Ottomans be for a while. If I can expand into Venice, um, I do want Lyca, but I'm, go I'm just going to leave Hungary alone because that, uh, we'll probably be able to get them to a personal union later on. There's an event that triggers it or gives us uh, something for it. In the meantime, I'm looking to get Venice and maybe some of Burgundy. Maybe I can force uh, Burgundian inheritance. Um, but because of the the revolts that will happen in the six, late 1600s in the Netherlands, uh, as Austria, I'm, I think I might move my capital over here and just switch to Dutch as my primary culture. Because in the end, I think that... Oh, um, like this place here the english channel is worth a lot more in terms of oh i can always go to venice uh, we'll see how it plays out see which one we see who is weaker if like burgundy gets attacked by france then of course i'll i'll go for uh, a war against burgundy but in the meantime i'm just looking to take a couple of states from uh venice two states should be fine uh, I might make them release Aquila. I have 5 over 5 diplomatic power. Hmm. I need one more. And getting one should be pretty easy with the uh, amount of administrative power I'm getting. I should be able to get my first diplomatic idea soon enough. So we'll get Brassica for ourselves and we'll probably go get Istria because it's a lot lot smaller. Freely I will probably make them release it. Brassica it's worth eight. Istria. Hopefully you don't get discovered. Um because gotta pay attention to the amount of aggressive expansion we're getting. Zero right now. Good. Very good. And, uh, yeah. Bring them back up. Yep. And we got a conquest. Improved relations with the Elector of Cologne. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's declare this war right away. Take Brassica. Castile. Castile has to move through a lot of troops, you know. Um, are they a danger? A little bit. But I think we can deal with them. We have Trier, Saxony willing to come into this war. Bohemia, not so. Lithuania, not so. But I'm surprised that Castile would be, be interested to, to get a bit of the action here. Anyway, if Castile comes over, I'm not so concerned because the AI, especially early game, the AI has really, really bad. Uh, halfing things. Yeah, let's just take these two first. Yeah, we'll let him walk over. Uh, actually, no. I need a... Totally forgot. I need a general. Okay. Uh, Elector of Cologne, right? Yeah. So, we'll improve relations. That'll give us a bit more imperial authority. Right now, we are at 26, which is good. I guess 20, go attack him. Yeah, we'll go for, go for the nobles. Mm, so he's not joining me. Uh, why on earth did Thuringia come in? Oh, they're... They're part of the thing. Where are you going? Where can he go, man? Yeah, I don't know about that. I can get another leader, which I definitely will. And he's a pretty good leader. Can I catch the Venetian army? 
Yeah, got them. Got rid of that. At this point of time, I'm just waiting for. Yeah, you see? That six. Where is he going? Golf of Venice. Then go there. Oh, 16. Here we come. Hmm, then the mountains. Subterial, so they're attacking me. Not a good idea. I have reinforcements. Bye bye. Yeah, not a good idea. Where's that one going? Wait, how did I lose? What? How did I lose? Did I click somewhere else? Oh my god, I made a stupid mistake. How did I lose? Oh, I made a stupid mistake. Never mind. Uh, can be corrected. Oh, I see. Okay. No, we have to get that. We can't fight them in Sartorial. Yeah, we'll fight them somewhere else. Yeah, like there. Yeah, then we'll move in. Sure, and Aragon is waging war on <laughs> That, That's pretty dumb of Castilla, honestly. Well, it just adds to my war, war score, so not too sad about that. And yes, we are losing by uni at 4, so I don't think we can do anything like that. Split in half. Uh, assign this to another leader. Whoa! Ah, oh, shit. Totally forgot about the steel. The same people there. Fuck, fuck that. We lost, what, three units, right? You know, the steel, you should, you really shouldn't be... Yeah, you really shouldn't be... Concerned with m this war, you should be going back home. There's, there's four there. I think that four is dead already. We lost about. We lost this, this, quite a quite a bit of units. Oh no, I only need two. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it at forty. I don't need to keep it high. Okay, they're completely sieged. Um, this guy is not doing anything, so I'll... Bohemia. I'll have them improve relations with... Yeah, I'm really good with you. Can I fabricate any more claims on you? Mm. You know what? Let's improve relations with Switzerland. And we need to improve relations with Milan as well, because I'm thinking that... Bohemia declared war and in Terganum, that means they have a king already. Same dynasty. So the same dynasty as me, I could claim his throne. He'll give me a... Uh... But I don't need to do it right now. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll probably only do it if their leader is... If... Bratislav, no. Sure. Okay, I'm not keen on losing more people, so I'm just gonna send everyone who is huh. money. Huh? Why am I losing so much money? It's the maintenance. Okay. This is dangerous to do, but they don't have any units left.
Okay. Earn some money from that siege over there. Earn some money from that siege as well. And looks like everything is coming up the way you want it. Siege of Istria. So Cologne is going to suffer a bit of... Um, Yeah, Trio can siege that for me. Hmm. Fine, I'll lose the prestige. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna let Trio siege this for me. Uh, and uh, I'll guess I'll. I'll I'll just prob I'll just wait, basically. Um, I can go to war with Bohemia. They only ally with Brandenburg. I have enough troops, that's for sure. Will I have Saxony on my side? I don't know. The problem is that he has no legal heir. I'm I I'm I'm still a bit confused with the whole personal union thing. I I'm not sure if if I claim a throne. Against them right now. Can I even claim a throne? Hmm. <laughs> wow. They made a mistake, huh? Yeah. After this war. There we go. More legitimacy for us. Claim our rivals. Province Pozzani. Okay. I'm thinking we, we can peace out Venice now. I'll just get my claims. Uh, Castile is in this, which sucks, but they should want to. Yeah. Can I get him to release Aquila? 67. You can, you can get it in the later war. Let's get it now. <laughs> That's all. Mm, yeah, sure. You'll get the other thing in a later war, when we are a little bit stronger. And th that itself should give us quite a bit of... Um, yeah, see? A lot of people hate us now. But the good thing is now we are at 42, so once we get a claim against Hungary, uh, we should be able to hit hit the magic number. Hit the magic number of over fifty power projection, and I'll probably just get. I want to get Lyca, even though I'll get hungry in the future. You know, I might as well get these two so I can like slowly move onwards south. Extend my influence there a bit. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do that in the next episode. There's gonna be a little more time. Okay, I want to see if I can claim. So I can claim that throne, but I need to do a bit of research to see if claiming that throne now in this situation, would I be able to force them into personal union? That's one. Two, is uh, is what happens if they get an heir in the middle of the war? That's what I fear the most. And I have to weigh the, the the pros and cons of claiming that throne. Because claiming that throne would obviously make me uh, very unlikable. With a lot of the people I have royal marriages with. That means Lithuania will hate me for a while. And Lithuania is a personal union under Poland. So, no point. I can break my royal ties with them. No legal heir. That means they probably inherit now. Huh? Serbia, Poland. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't want to deal with that. I'll try to get out the Lithuanian thing as soon as possible. Sometimes it happens, you know, you get the personal union under Lithuania. If Poland really screws up or something bad happens. But that's a long shot. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel and I will see you next time.